dear students our next topic is the fiber material that is it is included in the module 2 that is the fabrication of fibers and optical sources in this topic for the fabrication of optical fiber we have to first of all you have to know about the first six points the basic six points that is in case of this fiber material two materials with a slightly different refractive indexes is making of core and cladding that is we have to use two material with a different refractive index that is one is for core and other is for cladding that is the core is n1 and other is n2 we already know that n1 is always greater than n2 and these materials should be transparent to light that is in the operating range around 800 to 1600 nanometer and this material should have low attenuation that is the loss must be very low and these materials should have very low intrinsic and scattering losses that is the intrinsic and the scattering loss is very less and these materials must allow the making of long thin and flexible fibers that is these materials must be of long thin and flexible and these materials should be very cheap and abundant these are the six things that we used for making the optical fibers that is the two materials should con should maybe different refractive index and it must operating in the wavelength of 800 to 1600 nanometer and it have low attenuation and have low intrinsic and scattering losses it must be long thin and flexible and it should be cheap and abundant and most of these requirements are met by glasses and plastic polymers that is the optical fibers are made by mainly of glass or plastic the core is made of plastic and cladding is made of plastic otherwise the core is made of glass or plastic or the cladding is made of glass and so on and optical fibers core and a low index cladding so we say that the condition is must satisfy that is n1 that is the refractiveness of core must always greater than the n2 so optical fibers must it has high index core and low index cladding but the refractive index of pure silica is uniform and uh, another method is uh, another material used for the optical fiber fabrication is plastic that is it is lightweight and is inexpensive flexible and hard and large numerical aperture and easy to handle that is one of the some of the advantages that we used of, of plastic fibers that is it must be lightweight inexpensive flexible and numerical aperture and easy to handle but it has much higher attenuation that is one of the main drawback of the this plastic fibers it has higher attenuation and the best plastic fiber has a loss of approximately only 50 db per kilometer and at shorter wavelength in case of a shorter wavelength the regions the loss is less compared to the near ir region and some examples are heavy metal fluorides that is zirconium and beryllium fluoride chalcogen glasses and crystalline material also the we used is silica and glass is used for this optical fiber that is in silica fibers both core and cladding are made of silica differentiated by different doping level that is the uh, main advantages of this glass fibers the most common core dopant is germanium with the pure silica from the cladding next is the uh, specialties or the advantages of glass fibers the optical fibers are made up of oxide glasses that is made of oxide glasses the most common which is silica that is the glass fibers are made of silica SiO2 and the glass composed of pure silica is referred to as silica glass and the pure if we made optical fiber is made of pure silica we refer to as silica glass or fused silica or vitreous silica and also the glass is made by fusing metal oxides sulfates or selenides some of the desirable properties are uh, it is very resistant to high temperature that is the uh, the optical fiber is um, resistant to deformation in case of very high temperature that is if the optical fiber is passed through uh, the long oceans or underground it is resistant to deformation at high temperature and a high resistance to breakage from thermal shock because of its low thermal expansion that is already we know that it is resistant to high temperature so or in addition to this it is resistant to breakage from thermal shock because of low thermal expansion and good chemical durability it is resistant to the chemical chemical things and also high transparency high transparency in both the visible and ir region 
that is the main for advantage of using the glass fibers and in order to produce two dif two similar material having slightly different indices of refraction for the core and cladding fluorine or various oxides are commonly added to the silica that is in addition to the that is uh, core and cladding is made of silica in addition to the silica we use some other material for to change the refractive index of the cladding for example the core is made up of sio2 the cladding p2o3 to the sio2 and in case the core is made of germanium oxide and silicon dioxide the cladding is only made of silicon dioxide and core is made of p2o5 and sio2 the cladding is made up of sio2 and these dopants can be classified into two basic groups dopants which increase the refractive index and dopants which decrease the refractive index that is some materials some impurities are added to silica which increases the refractive index and some materials which decreases the refractive index and the figure showing the refractive index as a function of dopant material and their concentration in this graph we can see that if we add b2o3 the refractive index is lower and if we give p2o5 the refractive index is higher and if we add go2 the refractive index is again higher that is the refractive index as a function of dopant material and their concentration that is the main peculiarity of the this glass fibers then the next fiber that we made is halide glass fibers and in also we made the optical fiber in silica in some case rises rapidly at a longer wavelength that is in case of a longer wavelength the, the absorption mechanism is very higher that is the materials that are transparent in this range are zirconium fluoride and that is ZrF4 and barium fluoride BAF2 with other some other components add to form the glass compound so in order to reduce the absorption of silica we added the zirconium fluoride and the barium fluoride so we say that it is called halide glass fibers uh, it has been found that fluoride glass have extremely low transmission losses at wavelengths in the range of 0.8 to 8 picometer. And these fluoride glasses belong to a general family of hydrogen glass in which the atoms are formed from elements in group 7 of the periodic table, namely fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. So in case of a halide glass fibers, we use the fluorine, chlorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. And uh, these fibers are used in EDFA, that is EDFA it is studied in the next module because of their desirable optical characteristics. Next is the chalconite glass fibers. This chalconite glass has high optical nonlinearity, that is the losses is very less optical nonlinearity. So it is used in applications such as all optical switches and fiber lasers. That is the main important point in the chalconite glass fibers. That is, it has high optical nonlinearity. So, it is used to optical switches and lasers. Chalconite glass fibers contain that is arsenic, germanium, phosphorus, sulfur, selenium, and tellurium. That is the main compound in the chalconite glass fibers. Theoretically, the minimum attenuation for these materials are estimated 1 dB per meter. That is, the loss is very less that we used in a chalconite glass fiber. That is, the loss is merely less than or equal to 1 dB per meter. Next is the active glass fibers. In case of an active glass fiber, when the we use these rare earth elements are incorporated into a normally passive glass, it results in material having new optical and magnetic properties. That is, the main in the active glass fibers that is we used the rare earth elements that is these new properties allow the material to perform amplification attenuation and phase retardation on the light passing through it and the two commonly used materials are erbium and neodymium that is the we use in the case of a active glass fiber the rare earth element that is then erbium and neodymium and if the if we used these materials these materials to perform amplification, attenuation and phase reduction on the light passing through it. Next is the plastic optical fibers. That is the plastic optical fibers we use mainly for short hole application that is up to 100 meter application because they give rise to high attenuation of the optical signal. That is if we use this, this plastic fiber the attenuation is very high. However their mechanical strength is high plastic fibers are lighter and lower in cost like lower in close than glass that is we have already known that the plastic is very cheaper and it is very light very lighter material but 
in case although we use the plastic paper the attenuation is very high their operating temperature can go up to 125 degrees celsius that is that is these plastic fibers are used in medical applications and some sensors we used in the short fiber lengths are that is in case of a short haul application that we use the plastic fibers but these factors permits its use in inexpensive economically attractive system and some of the compound in glass fiber plastic fibers are a polystyrene core or methyl methacryl cladding that is the core is made of polystyrene and the cladding is made of methyl methacrylate and core is made of polymethyl methacrylate and uh, cladding is made of copolymer that is all about the fiber material